This is today's painting. It is called Dream World. It is done on a 20 by 30 corrugated plastic blackboard. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy. Hey crew. All right, so in today's tutorial, we're gonna be working on a 16 by 20 canvas. This is a black canvas. And uh, we're gonna start off with some hot pink. So let's do that. I'm just gonna do here some on the very top. Now, I know you can barely see the hot pink on there, but that's okay because we're gonna go over it with some of our hot, uh, with some of our light blue. Yeah, it's gonna look really neat. So those areas where we have our hot pink, are gonna look purple. See what I mean? Let's continue. I'm going to add a little bit more right here. All right. So far, so good. So far with me. Okay. All right. And then this is where we're at. So I'm going to do a little bit more. Light blue here on the bottom. And out of blue. It's okay. Got a couple more. Okay, we're going to come in. And notice those nice purples that we get. Well, it's the combination between the hot pink and the, uh, the sky blue. Okay, now using our darker blue, just gonna add right here. I'm gonna darken this a little bit up here. There we go. You see a little transition. I'm trying to make some colors really stand out. I want this to be our night sky in the background, so I'm gonna blend that out. And then I am going to use a uh, a lighter blue. It's kind of like an aquamarine. I'm gonna add just a few touches here, just like that. Okay. I like that. You see how that's? There we go. Cool. All right. So we're working on the sky. Okay. So that's the sky we have so far. I'm going to add a little bit of that lighter blue here on the bottom. Just like that. Look at that. It's starting to come out, huh? Okay, let's continue. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that hot pink. Okay, I think that looks like a pretty good sky. Uh, we might have to start working on the stars so let's do that. You guys remember how to do that? Yeah? All right. We're going to grab our white. We're going to rotate it. And we're going to very gently... Uh, let me uh, shake it and pre-spray it. Okay. We're going to very gently let some stars drop. onto the canvas. Now this may take a little bit of practice as you can see, especially if the can is brand new, but that's the effect we got. All you have to do is just very gently kind of let it sputter onto the painting itself, onto the canvas. 
All right, so we finished our background. Um, this is more or less what I had in mind, just something very magical. I'm gonna use a little bit of spray paint, and this is our black spray paint. We're gonna create a silhouette layer. Now, I know you guys don't really see me using brushes a whole lot, but this is an old brush. And as you can tell, I've used it for spray painting before. Look at the bristles are so freaking hard, they don't even bend. Um, and I'm just gonna create a little silhouette of just a magical little castle here in the background. So bear with me. Let me move some of these cans out of the way. And let's begin. Oh, let me add a little bit of paint here. Now I want this castle to be nice and big. So we're going to come up here. All right, something like this. Now it's okay if we let this castle just float up here for a little minute, because then we'll go back and we'll add some more clouds. How you said, well, we have our little cloud maker here. This is just a piece of cardboard that I cut out and uh, what you do, let me see if I can find the pattern. I think it's this one right there. See, so you just spread a little bit of white, remove. You don't want to do too much white, just enough to kind of give you that little effect of the volume of the clouds. So we'll do something like that and just kind of fade it into the background. So nice little silhouette layer for now. But we'll fade it in. We'll add some, maybe some small details to it. Eh, what do you guys think? Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, I like it too. All right. Okay, I went ahead and I added a little bit of light blue. This is the same brush, by the way, that I used earlier. I just kind of cleaned it up a little bit. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do the same technique that we do on our trees. Uh, let me make sure I don't want too much. And that is just to do the edges to kind of give our building here a little bit of life. Okay, so as you can see, I added a little bit of blue highlights, nothing that is very definitive, but yet enough to kind of give you a, a nice shape of what this castle, castle is going to look like, right? So now, this is going to create a nice little fog here in the background. I'm just doing circular motions. Okay. Now again, we're still gonna go over it with our with our stencil and kind of blend it in some more and maybe uh, add a little bit of clear coat just so that this bottom layer is gonna blend in. All right, so this is what we have so far. I went ahead and I worked on the back a little bit. Uh, just added some minor highlights to, you know, the outer edges of this nice little cloudy, mystical, uh, whatever it is. Heck, even I don't know. That, that's how mystical it is. <laughs> then we have our castle, which I did that with the brush. Just kind of created a silhouette. I, I didn't want to add too much detail. I mean, that's not... 
or it wasn't at least the objective of this painting so i just wanted a silhouette of a castle maybe some nice little detail something to kind of captivate the viewer to kind of watch on but now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a little force field this kind of takes us back to the beginning of spray painting i don't know if you guys remember at the very beginning we had to scratch our castles out and to create little force fields we would create uh this is one of my poster boards by by the way guys uh this is the ones that you can buy online as you can tell, very, very glossy, but I didn't have another piece of cardboard, so I'm gonna use this one to create our, oh, it's a little hard since I'm doing this one-handed, but the idea is that I'm gonna carve this or curve this poster board, put it around the castle, and then kind of create the little force field that we used to create back then, back in the olden days. Back in the olden days. <laughs> Uh, we created a nice little clouds and the way we did that is We tore off a piece of this is where I bought some black canvases and Then we tore off a piece and here we created our clouds. We just kind of sprayed a little bit of white You have to be very careful doing this and some pink as you can see. All right So now we've created the background and so now we have to start creating the elements that are going to be coming closer to us That's right. We want to bring it home so let's work on that but first i'm gonna add a nice little bubble force field around this castle i can't show you that because with one hand i'm recording and i can't do it with one hand guys so we'll use some some tv magic all right so this is an old brush that i've had and as you can see i've used it a mm, couple of times it's the bristles are you know kind of hard i had to uh oh so here's a trick if you use brushes uh and i usually don't but i've noticed that if you use brushes you add a little bit of clear coat onto the brush and then use another can you can kind of break the paint off the bristles and i usually just hit it with the edges and then uh, with the clear coat, what it does, it's, it gets all the paint kind of wet again. You might have to clean it a few times, but if you have an old brush, see, there we go, it's starting to move. If you have an old brush, that, that might be a good trick. Now, I'm going to create a little bit of paint here. We go back to our canvas. This is, uh, this is what we managed to do with that folded um, cardboard there, and then sprayed a little bit of white on the inside. So now... I want to create maybe some palm trees. I don't know. What do you guys think? Something like that. Tap into some more. And maybe we can add another one. I don't know. Maybe it's coming out through here. Now this is going to be a silhouette layer for now. Because what I'm wanting to do is uh, create some terrain that's closer to us. Okay, something like that. All right, so I'm going to create a few more palm trees. And then we're going to start creating some terrain that brings it kind of closer to home, brings it home. All right, so this is what I'm going to be using. Just an old paintbrush, some black, create some silhouettes. All right, this is what we have so far. So we went ahead, we added some uh, distant plant life here in the background. Now these rocks were created with a soft tipped, uh, rubber tipped uh, brush. And so basically what we did is tap into some black here. Oh, here you guys have seen me do this in plenty of other video tutorials. Um, <clears throat> so we use that technique to create that plant life. Let me back up a little bit. And that's what we have so far. We still have our nice little sky in the background. 
this mystical castle, which, you know, again, it just, it reminds me of when we first started doing spray paints and we had to, our spray paintings, and we had to scratch out the castles and, and create them. I had this little forest field around them. And so, yeah, a little bit of a nostalgia uh, a touch there. So we went ahead and added that, added some of these um, uh, palm trees here in the background. Now I'm starting to bring it home. We still have this whole space down here. And how are we going to fill that up? I don't know. That's a good question. It is a very good question because, as I've always told you, paintings tend to paint themselves. I'm going to add a little bit of clear coat right there on the edges. Clean this brush. See how easy these things are to clean? Love them. All right. So now I'm just going to come over here. With a little bit of clear coat, we're just going to blend some of that black into the, the canvas itself. Uh, something like that. That's going to give us the illusion of water. Water ripples. We'll add some there. We'll add some there. So I guess that answered my question. I guess uh, water ripples, water it is. We've got to figure out how to break this up a little bit. I have a pretty good idea now that I know that we're going to be creating some water. Maybe we can create. Follow me. A little bit of black there. Tap, 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 tap. I'm going to create a nice little edge right about there. Perhaps we have some water coming off this cliff. What do you think? You like it too, huh? Yeah, it's a good idea. I didn't come up with it. Painting did. If you listen, it will tell you how it wants to be painted. So that's what we have so far. As you can tell, we're adding the layers. We started with our background, added some stars, really nice little clouds going there. Still wasn't quite sure where it was going. So we added a castle. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, a bit of a nostalgic touch. Added a nice little force field around it. Then we start adding some background, um, you know, trees, plant life in the background. Little tiny island. Well, we'll still have to work with it. We added these rocks here on the side. And now we added this edge. And this, this is when we're going to convert this into some water running off the edge there. So slowly it's coming along quite nice. I like, we're going to leave these colors here. I think that's a nice touch because we have those colors being reflected from the, from the sky above. And add a little bit of blue. We're going to be using our light blue. I'm just going to do a little bit here on the bottom. Tiny touches, tiny touches. Now, I also have a dark blue. Right here. So we're going to darken this, this bottom part. Look at that. What do you think? pretty reflective huh so it might be a good idea for us to copy some of those stars and kind of add them here on on this bottom part as you can see i didn't add a whole lot of detail i just added some light blue some dark blue we left some of those colors from the the clouds uh before a little bit of dark blue here and it's starting to give you that illusion that there's water so we're gonna work with that maybe add a little bit of um white so let me grab some white Right about, oh boy, there's a lot of paint on there. Let's flip it. Oh, there's even more paint there. Okay, just gonna add a little bit of white there on the table. I have this nice little tarp. Uh, something to invest in. I think it's definitely worth it. You'll see me, uh, I'll use the tarp a lot as a, as a palette. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of white here to my brush. And we're just gonna come here and very lightly start to create the water ripples tap 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 now we're gonna have some little water ripples coming here because the water is starting to fall off the edge of this cascade
Now, I'm also not adding a whole lot of pressure. I don't. Gotta be careful when you're doing these. <clears throat> it's fixable. Don't get me wrong. It's fixable. It's just. No need to fix it if you can prevent a mistake, right? And sometimes a little too much white will really stand out. I think this is just enough white to kind of give you the illusion that the water is moving. more maybe right about here ah nice 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 I like that that okay I think it's time to add some of those little stars there on top and just kind of make them hit on the bottom so in order for us to do that I am going to use this nice little soft tip uh, brush and I'm gonna spray a little more white right about there I'm gonna tap into that now see I want just the tip just the little tip of it and we're gonna just well you know what I might have to lay this down but this is the idea of it I'm not sure why it's not wanting to stick but you put your your nice little dot there now if you want to give it that same effect of fading kind of like some of these stars up here watch this do your dot oh oh that was a little too much Now, it's a little difficult because it's standing up. The painting is standing up. I should really flip this over. There you go. Add a little dot. I need to, you know, want to fix this one. I'm going to add a little bit of clear coat. And if you have a sea sponge, which I at the moment apparently don't have, I'm just going to use my finger and kind of blend it out. Good deal. Okay, well, I'm going to lay this down and keep working on those stars, those little reflections. All right, crew. So we added a little bit of white here on the bottom, added our stars, added some minor plant life here into the water, and then uh, just retouched some of the highlights on some of the clouds. But this is it. All right, crew. Well, thank you guys for joining us uh, and spray painting with us. We'll see you on the next tutorial. Until next time, keep those cans shaking, guys. Later.